everyone. Welcome to Why Not Montessori. I'm here today with my husband. <laughs> Hello, I'm Luke. I am the guy behind the camera and the editing sometimes with my beautiful wife and glad to be here with you. So Cindy and I worked on this project together to convert an old changing table of our sons into a light table. IKEA sells a table called a LAT, L-A-T-T, -T, that can also be used. There's a DIY link that we'll put in the description below. But uh, now you're looking at the table and we'll just show you how we did it. These are the things that you will need. Of course, the table, about an 18 by 24 inch acrylic sheet, two sets of LED IKEA light strips, a can of frosted glass finish, sandpaper, Velcro, a pair of scissors, cleaning spray, and a rag. First, we wanna make sure that our surface is clean. We're gonna cut the Velcro strips into smaller pieces. We're going to glue the smaller pieces on each corner of the table. We wanted to make sure the top or the acrylic sheet was removable, so we did this. We're going to clean our surface, the acrylic sheet, and we're going to spray a few coats of this finish onto the acrylic sheet. Make sure you let it dry between each coat. Now you can see the different pieces from the LED strip. You're not going to use all the pieces from both sets. You're going to attach a power connector and then two of the connectors and then a control. Now I'm connecting all of the LED light strips. You're going to do it in a special pattern of two strips attached to each other. Then you do two um, corner pieces that are flexible, one more strip, and then another corner flexible piece and then the last strip and then we'll show you how to mount them later. Now we want the side that was sprayed on to be faced down and we're going to take the rest of our velcro pieces and attach them to each corner. Attach the acrylic sheet to the velcro. Now we took it inside and we started to mount the brackets on the inside of the table. These brackets hold your LED light strips. Um, usually two brackets per light strip. Um, this is this particular wood was hard wood. Um, these little screws do not go in, so I had to use a whole lot of force, otherwise I would strip them out. So take that into mind, whatever wood you mount. Um, I will say you have to have one set of four LEDs mounted higher and one set mounted lower, because there will be some overlap, as you'll see. This is just a close-up of what the fully mounted LED strips look like on the inside of the light table. Now we just take our power drill, make a hole in the bottom, um, however you can do it, just to wide enough to fit the power connector. In the opposite corner, drill another hole likewise. We use tape to protect the ends of the power connector so that little chips of wood would not get stuck in there and you take that off now. It takes a little bit of finagling but you can get the power connector plugged into both sets of LED strips and again we only use one power box for the two sets of strips. Here I'm using the rest of our velcro pieces and hot gluing them onto the back of the controller of the LED lights. Now I'm attaching the controller onto the side of the table. I also made sure to use hot glue, zip ties, and tape to secure all the cables underneath the table. And now that everything is hooked up and attached, we're going to place our acrylic sheet on the table. And now you're all done. You can use the plain white LED light strips from Ikea. We chose the color options so that we can choose, have different options for our sun, but you can do it however you like. And as you can see, it's a lot of fun with geometric solids. You can follow me on Pinterest where I have a board just on light table activities. 
my name is just search for why not Montessori. I would love to answer any questions that you may have. Make sure you share this video, like it, and subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to see more videos from us. Thank you and have a great day.